Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of a building episode that's inspired by Lathlin's uh, newest, um, or Lathric's newest FTD video. Today we're going to be building three starting vehicles and, well not, no, two starting vehicles and one turret for a Ash of the Empire campaign. I want a helicopter, a tank of some sort, it might end up being a tank destroyer, I don't know, it just depends on how it turns out, and a cram defense turret, or just a turret of the cram doesn't work out, because I want to start an Ashes of the Empire campaign, and I want to try to get at least do five episodes, if it's still not getting any views or anything, then I'll probably quit it, but yeah. So our first build is going to be the heavy tank, or at least the planned one. I'm planning for a cram cannon because, to be honest, I um, I just I've only found 250 millimeter APS to be effective on uh, tanks. I think 400 millimeter is good, but oh no, I just want just want to build something with some cram cannons, and I can't figure out where this is. Now I've already built one vehicle, which is the, this guy, I haven't had any light or anything, but this have, this tank is going to be kind of based off this one, so, and I forgot how to build it, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit once I have the, um, most of the design finished, and I keep spawning in blocks, I'll see you guys in a bit, hello. I mean, no, hello. Welcome back to the tank here. I've just finished the hole, and I'm about to start working on... Well, I finished the AI as well. I'm about to start working on the ammo and weapons. Just a quick little update. So, uh, welcome back to the tank I, I was working on. I've just finished it as it rams into the guard there. So it just has a 1,600 millimeter cram cannon. It's not the most powerful, but it does do a fair bit of damage. And I forgot to add that detection system, so I'll be b the other detection system. So I'll be back. In the Welcome back to the tank after I've added the detection equipment. As I said, it has a 1,600 millimeter cram cannon and all of that good stuff. However, it's time for combat testing. This thing has decent armor, and I forgot to add a chair. Let me do that real quick can be anywhere it also i forgot to mention does have smoke quite a bit of it actually so i will need to test against laser damage also yeah. let's just so the first test is against a fairly simple deep water guard cobra oh. the armor just bounced there however it's Showing its rear to the opponent which Isn't what it should be doing now. I do have automatic detection equipment on Okay, missed it, but we did take off a couple of blocks. I do know the Cobra seems to be At least for my designs. It seems to be a little bit difficult to detect Isn't the best cinematic footage? Yep, devastating damage to the side there. We did take a hit, but doesn't seem like any damage. This main gun's still operational, but... Just a glorious explosion ripping apart the... Well, basically everything. 76% health. I do like the cramp cannon on this thing. Cramp cannon, it they probably it probably won't hit much in the campaign, but when it does hit, you can really tell. So I'll be back once I have the next craft, which is going to be the helicopter. So I'm just about to start bu to build the helicopter. I'm not quite sure what I want from this. I want missiles. I T don't know how many this is kind of gonna be a, like a build where I kind of just throw everything together and hope it works but once again I'm 
just not quite sure, so I'll be back once I have a, a clue of what I'm doing. So I just looked at the stats of lightweight alloy and metal, and I am completely blown away. I always thought lightweight alloy was just like, I thought his armor was way worse, but nope. So lightweight alloy isn't as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, that's very interesting. So we're definitely going to make it all of this stuff, and I forgot to paint it. Once again, I'll be back once I have an idea of what I'm doing. So, I've just finished the helicopter. I didn't show as much as I, I would have liked to building it because, well, I kind of got addicted. And building those wings there made me nauseous and hurt my brain a little bit. But yeah, this thing's incredibly unstable. Yeah, it's just... It just literally just does that basically all the time. It's not the most effective at dodging, however, I... Because, however, my brain's too dead right now to really make the, um... Make it go up and down. I'll figure that out another day, hopefully. I said that for the past, like, 800 times to, uh... Fellow FTD YouTuber who is commenting, trying to make my designs better. Thank you for that, but... I haven't gotten around to it yet. First test, I think, should be a side sidewinder. It has um, eight missiles. I forgot how much there is there. They do a lot of they do a lot of alpha strike. That was the term I was looking for there. A lot of burst damage, I meant. And they dented my glass. How dare they! So yeah, these things are just going to be in the battle. They won't provide that much of a consistent damage source, but... And I re <laughs> I keep forgetting how to speak. But these things just won't provide much of a consistent damage source. Just occasional bursts of damage. And that's all they're meant to do. They're really meant to be in at least a wolf pack. They're decent on their own against smaller vehicles that are more equivalent in cost and volume well i say they're in cost i say that in their volume but there's not many that are actually about 600 volume it's like nearly a fourth of the ash of the empire volume moment yeah incredibly unstable just meant to be in swarms like this let's kill another dust deep water guard that's one gypsy's little craft here. Wow, that did more than I thought it would. Small flak cannon. Doing a tiny bit of damage as I basically... It almost looks like they're wobbling away from the turret here. Turret, I don't know how to say that. Missiles incoming. A fair amount more missiles, and the opponent's defeated. As I said, I can see this being really strong in a lot of numbers. Even three is strong against a deep water guard, at least. Dust one gypsies. I'm going to call them deep water guard repeatedly. However, I bet we get better get to our next zone, which is going to be a cram cannon turret. So. We're now about to finish the final zone, which is the cram cannon turret. Now for this design, it shouldn't take that long because all we need to do is make a cram cannon and an AI detection equipment. We don't need an engine or any of that other stuff because, well, it doesn't need to move and it doesn't need anything that requires engine power. We could add a lambs, but I think I'd rather go with armor spam because... It wouldn't cost anything. It wouldn't cost any um, resource upkeep, which is kind of important because we don't really want these cram, I mean turrets, costing us a bunch of resources. However, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the base, so I'll be back once I have the base. Done. So I've just finished the um, turret base out. It does look very chunky. It almost looks like a retired pancake or kind of like an ear a little bit eh not really but yeah it's a weird shape but it should do for the 
because this thing we probably won't see in combat much. It's really just meant to defend outpost, more of a last resort if they can get through our defenses. So yeah, I'll be back once I have um, more of the actual base and not just the foundation. So it's been a moment and I've just finished up the base. Very basic, once again, odd shape. I'm just about to take it started on the cannon. After that, we'll add the armor and we'll actually be done. Of course, I do need to decorate this a little bit because right now it's incredibly plain. So I've just finished the turret cap. Well, not finished. I still have a little bit to do on the detection equipment. I will say, I really like this barrel. This is probably my favorite little barrel shroud I've ever built. What's well, the only one I've built, but really like that barrel shroud. My opinion, just looks really awesome. It looks like it fit more for a railgun type weapon, but yeah, really like that. But I'm not sure quite what to do with the actual, like, turret cap. It's just, I need detection equipment on it. I'd rather not have it just all around the fortress or turret. But if you want to see the gun, yeah, it will go through like that. But you're on god mode, immediately taking out the, yeah, these two turrets. And it is a 2,000 gauge crew cannon, so it will take a little bit to reload. And in two shots, it's killed. Yeah, so this thing will kill most uh, vehicles if it can hit them reliably. And it is only 38,000. So, I'll be back once I have any clue of what I'm going to do in the back, and I do that clue. So, I had a dumb dumb moment, talking about a dumb dumb moment, and then had a dumb dumb moment while talking. I forgot how to speak during one of those dumb dumb moments. A lot of dumb dumb moments, but what happened is I recorded this, like, two times already. One just failed, the other forgot to plug my mic in. But I was talking about how I set up a mainframe for these missiles here, and then realized the missiles just target their targets without any, um, I guess direction, without any tracking from the AI. The only way to do that would be to set remote guidance, which would require a lot of, uh, what is it? General processing power, or processing power for the AI. So they're still on active radar, but anyways, these are just AA missiles, just added. However, I'm not very happy with the aesthetics of the fortress. It's not surprising, it's just they're so plain. This thing just, to be honest, that's what it is plain, except for the barrel shroud. And the missile turrets do look fairly decent. But I'm just, I don't know what to do with this. It's basically a bull brick of armor, with, with except for the... Uh, turrets here so i'm probably keep it as it is because as i just don't think we're gonna see this much in combat because because this structure can't move it's not gonna be used for anything offensive although i could make it fly if i wanted to but that would be over complicated but i'm fairly happy with it and i just think i'm going to add some uh toasty mainframes just as lathrix did back in the good old days of uh, 2017, I believe. So I'll be back once I finally finish this design. So it's been a little bit. I've just added some nice and toasty mainframes here. Simply because we will always treat our prisoners of war like, like this. They're nice, toasty, and that's how they'll be kept. And it's not an actual person. It's a mainframe. I assure you. That's why there's definitely not a brain inside this now let's go kill something shall we with lots of explosions cram cannon just misses and while those missiles are a lot stronger than I thought they'd be I'm not quite sure why I'm surprised because they're miss I forgot 
forgot to add a turret to these things. I'll be back in a I just did a complete aesthetic revamp, or at least of the base, to make it look a little bit more pleasing. It didn't have that much effect on effect in this, but there's still a few armor gaps. I don't really care about that, though, because I just wanted to get done with this thing. Looks much better now, though. I do think I went a little bit overboard in the glass streaks, rather. The helicopter's just flying away over there. But yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with these designs. The hammer is just a very simple, in terms of aesthetics and both just armory and everything. It's just going to serve a good all-round vehicle. The helicopter is going to specialize in alpha strike damage, as I assume is way too close. It doesn't look too bad. Could still be a little bit more dodgy though. And the turret is, well, going to be a turret just defending outposts. I will think though, I will remove the gun and make a um, pure mining version of this. I might keep a missile or two, missile tube or not. I really like the sacrificial mainframe there. Not sacrificial, I mean nice and cozy mainframe there. After all, we Imperials are the good guys in the story. Definitely not something that a person who watched Lathlin would say. Yep, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you want to see me continue doing FTD content, as I shoot something, if you want to see me continue doing FTD content, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Because that's a good way to get motivation for me so I can actually upload stuff without being not motivated, not motivated, whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this little building video and I'll see you in the campaign.